we're going to start by looking at our horizontal bracing. The horizontal bracing must be in the same plane that the member it frames to are in. However, vertical bracing, the work points have to be added at the nominal depth of the beams and the center line of the columns. We'll take a look at both of these right now. So let's start by opening up our second floor plan. Again, I can go layout and open view and then select second floor and then say OK. Looking at S1, we can see we have a WT 8x13 and two L6 by 4 by 38 braces in here. To add these, we'll go to members, we'll drop down from our joist. If that's back at default, we'll just drop down from column and select add horizontal bracing. Go ahead and select that. And then we can take a look. We're going to start with our angle. So I can type in my section size L6 by 4 by 3 8 and with this you do not type the 2 dash as that will be specified either in the member edit window or here in our add options bar. First thing we have is our side of gusset. Do we want the gusset near side or far side? Next we have our long leg. Do we want that outstanding or to the gusset? Next we have double material, which for this case it does call out we have two angles there. So this is going to be double material. Then you have your left and your right end connections. If I drop this down, we have an option for user defined, plain end, or an HBRC plate. In this case, we want that HBRC plate. So I'm going to go ahead and just locate my two points then. Select from that point to the center point of D and 3. And we can see it's added this brace and calls that out as 2 L6 by 4 by 3 8. Next, we're going to take a look at adding our WT 8 by 13. So I'm going to start by setting my section size. So WT 8 by 13. I'll hit my tab. Now you can see it grayed out those that do not apply. We still have the option for side of gusset, near side or far side, and then the left and right end connection information. In this case, we can see that it is set three inches down. There's a few different ways we could go about this. I could come in here and set my Z distance and type in negative three. And then when I go to add this, we can see that is now snapping to 114 foot three. So I could select my two points there. Or what I'm gonna do is I canceled out of the command. I'm gonna go back to my layout. And then inside of here, we're gonna use our relative depth. So when I select that, I can then specify how much I want to change my view depth by. In this case, I want to go into my depth. So I'll go negative three and I'll say, okay. We can now see our elevation here at the bottom is shown as 114 foot three. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add in our brace. So I'll go members and our horizontal brace add. Again, because I didn't add that member, I need to reset my section size, which is WT 8 by 13. And then I can select my two points here. Once I have that selected, I can go ahead and right click to end the command. And then I can turn those both to solid and see we have the double angles as well as the WT.